Doc's Log, Day 114. Today, I'm working on quests. Hello everybody, Dr. Darok here, and welcome back to yet another exciting episode of Let's Play Project Ozone. Now on today's episode, I'm going to be continuing in the quest book, uh, because as I've stated previously, my goal is to complete all of the quests in the quest book, and potentially the simple quests as well, if I ever get around to that. But anyways, for now the goal is the quest book, and we're going to just destroy the quest book, knock it out of the park, um, and yeah. So, basically today we're going to be working on a couple of quests to start with, um, that I have the materials prepared to complete, and then we're going to, hopefully, if there's time, uh, take a look at the new quests that that will unlock, and hopefully complete some of those as well. So, we're going to start off with this quest, Induction Outduction. Uh, in which the goal is simply to create an induction smelter. So I've prepared the materials to create an induction smelter. All of these things are relatively simple. I made a, a hardened machine frame. You could use basic or any of the others. Um, there's an empty bucket, two invar ingots, two invar gears, and a redstone reception coil, which, as you all should know, is made just like this with a gold ingot, two redstone. So there we have it. Induction smelter complete. Let's pick a reward bag, and there we go. So, oh, greater level reward bag. That's cool. So the next thing that we want to make is going to be called a nullifier, and we want to make this uh, augment nullification chamber as well. Uh, destroys excess secondary outputs. Not that I really need that, but it could be helpful. Actually, it might be very helpful for this guy over here, this pulverizer, since that pulverizer is mainly going to be... I don't really need all this sulfur that has been produced from grinding up the um, grinding up the nether rack that I was uh, using in order to get what was it that I was searching for calendrite which I've got three ingots worth of now so I no longer need to do that but anyways first we're gonna make the nullifier and again this is this quest here nullifier augment nullification chamber so we are going to first make the nullifier which is made just like this with a pneumatic servo two tin gears, a bucket of lava, and an invar ingot. And that's how you make the nullifier. Uh, now, of course, if you don't know the recipe for the pneumatic servo, it is relatively simple. It's simply two iron ingots, two glass, and a redstone dust. So let's go ahead and make a nullifier. Oh, I get the bucket back. Interesting. Next up, we want the nullification chamber augment for um, redstone flux, uh, thermal expansion machines, things like that. So we're gonna put the lava bucket in there. Uh, we're gonna need two invar ingots, two silver ingots, and two more redstone dust. And we've created the nullification chamber augment. Now, I'm not 100% sure, is that, what is, what is this from? Thermal expansion, okay. So yeah, that should be compatible, in fact, Come to think of it, let's claim this quest first. Uh, let's pick a reward bag. There we go. Now, of course, that's opened up a couple more quests here. The Wither. Wither boss killed one of kill one Wither block. Don't add a command block to this. Oh, it's a reference to Minecraft Story Mode. Wonderful. I love that. I'm, it's such a shame that I lost all of my progress on Minecraft Story Mode. I mean, I could always restart that Let's Play, but anyways... Totally separate from the point that I'm trying to get at here. So I want to open up the inventory for this pulverizer. What is this integrated servo mechanism? No, I don't really care for that. Redstone circuit, don't care for that. Modular framework, don't really care for that either. So how do I actually add, do I have enough room to add an augment to that? Oh, okay, so I've got to upgrade it first to a hardened pulverizer, which should not be that tricky. Also, you'll notice that my Tartarite Mega Pick here has auto repair on it. It's been mossified. And I didn't actually manually add that. I went mining in the mining dimension in between videos. And whenever it leveled up, that was the first uh, bonus that it got from auto level up, which just provides random bonuses. And as you can see, the durability is slowly climbing, uh, especially now because I'm in the sun. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and take this pulverizer here. Let's pick this up. There we go. And 
We're gonna come over here to the crafting station, but first I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna grab an Electrum gear, which I've made a few extras of, and four Invar ingots, there we go. And we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this, just like so, which I believe should work. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna upgrade it from basic to hardened, and does it still, is it still holding all of that redstone flux, or did I just throw away 480,000 RF? Oh well, guess we'll find out. Okay, looks like all the RF stayed in there, the configuration stayed in there, so that's good. Um, no issues as of yet. So if I just put this nullification chamber augment in here, then whenever I am pulverizing sulfur and things, or whenever I'm pulverizing um, nether rack, I shouldn't get additional sulfur coming out that I have to pipe out and place in this chest over here. So that's good news. And in fact, I can at this point remove this transport pipe and iron chest, but just in case, I'm not going to yet. So, what else do I have in store for today? Well, first, let's go ahead, come over here, place these chance cubes in there. I got, ooh, both of these reward bags are of greater level. So let's see what's in these reward bags. Plutonium and Ludicrite. That's a rare reward. And infinite water reward. 1.66% chance to get this reward. Supplies adjacent blocks with water. Oh, really? Okay, that's actually really cool. How do you, what? What? What is that? How do I, whoops. How do I make that? Because that's pretty cool. Oh, just glass and a machine housing from Magneticraft, which is carbide, iron, and stone. Okay, so that's not that, that's not that hard to make, although I don't know how to get carbide, but it is pretty cool. The next thing that we want to look at here is the nullifier. The nullifier removes things from existence, as it so plainly states there in the light green text. Um, mint? Is that is that mint colored text? Um, anyways, so one thing that I'd like to do is possibly add that to the diamond chest and pipe some things out of existence that I don't really need. Uh, potash, bitumen, uh, magnesium, saltpeter. I don't think I have any urgent need for these uh, secondaries here. And so I believe that the, they could be piped out. Um, flint, I know that it's useful for the um, sag mill, but I don't really, I mean, I've got stacks upon stacks of it and there's no way to, uh, there's no way to better store it. See, I've got, whoops, I've got so many stacks of flint. Um, so yeah, I think that might be something that I look into. Although if the nullifier requires redstone flux, I think I'd rather take a different approach than using the nullifier. Um, so yeah, anyways, welcome to Project Ozone, guys. Today we're going to do fun stuff uh, in a fun way, I hope. Um, no, no guarantees on that. Now, of course, I've got this induction smelter now, and the induction smelter's pretty useful. It's useful for a couple of things. For example, I was looking earlier, um, although actually this is, I don't think this is the induction smelter. I think it's the alloy smelter. I was looking earlier at how to make this pulsating iron. And uh, so what I need for that is basically to cook it in an induction smelter with uh, iron and an ender pearl for 6,000 RF, or in an alloy smelter with iron and an ender pearl for 10,000 RF. And this is one of those alloys that you cannot create in the Tinker's Construct smeltery, which of course means that I will need one of these two machines, either this induction smelter or... I still have the alloy smelter hiding over here somewhere, right? Okay, or the alloy smelter. Of course, the alloy smelter requires more redstone flux, so it would be better for other things. However, there is something else that I would need the alloy smelter for, uh, specifically. Um, pulsating iron can be, uh, can be used to create, can it? Am I wrong? Am I confused? No, wait, hold on. First, you can take pulsating iron and then you can break it down into nuggets, then you can turn it into a pulsating crystal, and the pulsating crystal can actually be combined in an alloy smelter with solarium and dark steel to create dark solarium, which is one of the ingredients that I will need in order to create a transmutation table, you see. Um, now, of course, in default Project E, the transmutation table just requires 
stone and um, stone and obsidian. However, as you can see, it's much more expensive in this version of <laughs> of the of the mod. Um, oh, the the recipes have been modified. So that is something that I definitely want to work towards over time is getting started with Project E and making that transmutation table. So I will need both of these machines. Um, the induction smelter because it's cheaper on redstone flux and the or the um, and the alloy smelter because it can combine three things into one thing as opposed to just two. So there are certain recipes such as the one that I've just shown you, Dark Solarium, that can only be made in the alloy smelter. All right. So with all that out of the way, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with hooking up that nullifier right now. I might do that in between episodes sometime um, because I'm gonna have to make like gonna have to make some sort of filtered pipe that can only pipe out things that I tell it to pipe out. I might have to hook it up to my aluminum wire here. Although really, I suppose I could do that. Um, actually, if I make an is there advanced wooden pipe in this? Advanced. I don't see it. I see advanced mechanical pipe, advanced logistical transporter, um, wooden pipe. Um, wait, hold on. Pipe. There's a wooden transport pipe, wooden fluid pipe. I don't see the advanced wooden transport pipe, so that's um, something. If anyone knows what I can use to filter out a extraction. I mean, I see maybe the emerald pipe, but I'm not sure. It says round robin extraction pipe, not filtered extraction pipe. So I'm not really sure if it has a filter on it. So if anyone knows what I can use as a filtered extraction pipe um, in order to extract just things that I want out of the diamond chest and pump them into the nullifier, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm talking to you, Brian. Anyways, so... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was I. I found that hilarious. Um, anyways, quest book here, Wither Boss. That is gonna be one tricky thing, but I've definitely got to do it eventually because there are a number of things that the Nether Star can be used to create that usually you wouldn't need a Nether Star for. First of all, um, I know for a fact that you need a Nether Star in order to get into the Twilight Forest. Um, instead of a diamond, you actually have to place another star in the pool. So, and I know that some of you want me to go to the Twilight Forest out there. Actually, quite a few of you, to be honest. So, I'm definitely going to need to fight the wither eventually. That's going to be problematic, sort of. Um, of course, I, I might want to find a way... I wonder if I can make wither skeleton skulls out of anything, or if I've actually got to go to the nether and fight them. No, just wither essence... I guess, and that's going to require four Wither Skeleton Skulls in the first place, and a bunch bunch of Zavicio Essence, so I'm not really sure what that could be used. Nether Star Generator? Really? Oh yeah, okay, I actually read about this. That generates tons of power using Nether Stars. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can use Wither Skulls for as well, so I might have to, I might have to create some of this stuff. Oh, the slice and splice. I have a quest to make this too, and it requires a wither skeleton skull. Or is it any skull? Any skull. Okay, I've got skulls. I'll use one of my own skulls, probably. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, where is it? Soul splicing. The slice and splice and the soul binder. I need to make those. So, yeah. Okay, what else is this? Metallurgic infuser. It's one easy way to obtain steel. This machine will allow you to make enriched alloy and basic control circuits that will be used in many recipes, including making themselves better for more advanced recipes. Okay, that's kind of neat. Oh, look. It gives me those things that it was talking about in the in the quest as rewards so that I can upgrade it almost immediately. So we might want to do that. Uh, there's also solid smelting. Uh, it wants me to make a magma crucible. So I can definitely do that. In fact, we might want to start there. Um, and I know maybe this, maybe you guys don't really like, if you like the episodes where I pretty much just like sit around and craft things and complete quests, let me know. If you guys would prefer that I do the quests off screen and then come back and just show you um, things like tricks that can help you in your world, let me know that too. So down in the comments section, let me know. I mean, 
I know that I could probably make this more entertaining if it was more like, hey, here's this trick I found, here's this thing, but then I, I feel like I'd be tempted to just, like, cheat through some of the quests and then, you know, uh, come out on the other end with all the stuff and show you guys, hey, this is this cool thing that you can do with this stuff, rather than showing you guys, like, rather than... I, I like Let's Plays to be real Let's Plays, survival Let's Plays, and to be a log of my journey, as opposed to being, you know, a, uh, I guess, what's what's the word I'm looking for? As opposed to being more like a how to be better at it. I mean, I hope that you guys learn how to be better at it through my videos, especially because some of you are very, very knowledgeable, and you give me great tips, which I then share with everyone else. So, to, in my opinion, that's, that's the way that I like to add the most value to someone else's play experience. Uh, but anyways... We're going to make a magma crucible, which I'm going to need a machine frame, redstone reception coil, invar gears, nether bricks, um, and a leadstone energy cell frame. Uh, now, uh, that's made, oh, with a block of redstone and a bunch of lead and glass. So I can definitely do that. Let's grab out four glass, um, and I'm going to need a machine frame too, so let's grab out four more. Uh, I'm going to need a block of redstone, so let's take out... Nah, forget about it. We'll just take out all the redstone. Um, so let's go ahead and make that redstone block here. Uh, lead. I think I've got some lead over here. Yeah, lead. Okay, so let's take out lead. Let's do block of redstone, four glass. Oops, nope, that's in the wrong place. Glass, 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 and lead. And that'll make a leadstone energy cell frame. Now, of course, the leadstone energy cell can um, hold lots. Well, if I make it into the actual energy cell rather than just the cell frame, which basically would require me to uh, add some copper and a redstone conductance coil. Pretty easy stuff. Um, but, yeah, I'm not going to do that today. Uh, we want this reception coil, which, of course, is gold and redstone. So let's grab a piece of gold and redstone come over here and make one of those okay and then we're also going to need uh the machine frame two nether bricks two invar gears okay so we'll grab out some invar gears have i got enough invar gears no i'm gonna have to make some more but that's no problem because i've got tons and tons of in invar so let's just uh rearrange this stuff here invar block sure let's do it uh in fact why don't i take out two invar blocks, then I'll turn them into ingots, and there we go. So that's enough to make four invar gears so that I have a couple extras for next time. Come over here, grab my gear cast, do that, okay, and while those things are melting down, we're going to assemble the other thing that I need, which is nether brick. Now, nether brick can be a little bit tricky, but you can manufacture it very easily um, if you know how. So what I'm going to need is nether essence. Nine nether essence turns into four nether bricks. So let's come over here and grab some nether essence out of my magical crops farming chest here. And we have created nether brick. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm only going to need two of these. So let's just take two of them and place them in my basic blocks and building uh, chest here. And now let's go make these gears. So there's 16 molten invar in here. We're going to make some gears. Also, I do still plan to upgrade my mob grinder over here, but I just haven't yet, and I really don't know where to start. So, yeah, if you guys have any like um, good ways to make a mob grinder, let me know that in the comments section as well. And uh, if you submit to me some sort of... Uh, mob grinder that's easy to make and that I would like a lot and is very efficient, then I will definitely give you a shout out for sure. In fact, I might even uh, I might even give the thing a nickname and name it after you. Um, so yeah, that's sort of an unofficial shout out contest. There's no rules or time limit or anything like that, but for sure, if you suggest to me. Um, a mob grinder that I really like, then I will uh, return the favor in a in a manner of speaking by 
giving you a shout out. So I believe that that's everything. Is that right? Uh, let's see here. Magma Crucible. Okay, so we want Leadstone Energy Cell Frame. Wow, that looks strange. Um, oh, I didn't make my machine. I didn't make my machine block yet. Okay, so what I want now is a tin gear, which I've still got. I'm going to want an Electrum gear too. And four iron ingots. One, two, three, four iron ingots and four invar ingots. So let's grab another one of these invar blocks out of here and grab four of them. There we go. And that should do the trick. So let's come back over here now. Let's make iron like this and a tin gear in the middle and glass to make the machine frame basic. And then let's upgrade it just like this. There we go, to make the hardened machine frame. So let's put a machine frame in here, and this stuff, and that stuff. Do all the things. Um, there we go. Ta-da. And hello, everybody. We've got a magma crucible. So that's one more quest complete. Let's go ahead and claim the rewards on that. Um, solid smelting. Craft a magma crucible. I don't really know what that means. Um, and honestly, at the moment, I forget what the Magma Crucible actually does. Uh, that's good reward bag. That's kind of unfortunate. I was hoping for another greater reward bag. Um, but yeah. So let's go ahead and clean up after the changes that I made. There we go. There's nothing in here, right? Empty. Okay, Brian will be happy about that. And let's... <laughs> I'm sorry, Brian. I don't feel... Please don't feel like I'm picking on you. I'm actually... I feel like I'm... I'm just being proud of the fact that I have done something that otherwise I may not have ever done. Um, so yeah, here's another thing that I want to do. I want four bone meal. And what I want to do is take this bone meal. That's the wrong shaped crafting. I want this shaped crafting. There we go. I want to take this bone meal and make dye seeds, uh, which is going to require Accio Essence and Minichio seeds. And I'm going to add those to my uh, current my current slew of magical crops over here. In fact, I may have to expand my farm. I also added a nether quartz crop here as well. So I thought that was interesting, at least. Um, so let's go ahead and grab out some seeds from in here. Put my seed bag back. And there we go. So let's put Minichio seeds and uh, there we go, bone meal. Accio Essence, and now I've created some dye seeds. Why is why am I creating dye seeds, you might wonder? Well, you see, there are a few reasons. First of all, I, I need um, ink sacks to make something that I want to make at some point, which is going to be called a clipboard. I need an ink sack to make that. I'm also going to need ink sacks for other things, and the dye seeds will let me make ink sacks without ever having to find squids, which I was actually in the mi Whenever I went mining earlier, I was in the mining dimension. Um, that's before the video, by the way. I was in the mining dimension specifically because I wanted to find some squids, but I didn't see any, so I'm assuming that maybe they can't spawn there. I really don't know, though, to be honest. Um, but yeah, long story short, I made some dye seeds. Also, it will allow me to make pink dye, uh, out of dye seeds, which as many of you may remember, I've got this thing over here called a useless, it's nicknamed a useless generator, um, but it's actually a the most powerful variation of a pink generator, um, and I'm hoping that it's, I'm hoping that it's not terrible, I mean it's got a power multiplier of 64 times, so it's 60 times, 64 times more effective than the default pink generator, which is made, see, you gotta make it like this, and make it like this, make this like this, uh, which is, I mean, not terribly expensive, but whenever you get to being 64 times as powerful as the original, I would hope that each pink essence would provide a significant amount of redstone flux. So yeah, okay. So here's something that I wanna show you guys. Um, actually, let me go grab some more ingredients here. Uh, I have in my possession a number of Enderman Essence. Uh, I want 24 of these, because that's a multiple of eight. And I'm going to take this, and we're going to, whoops, you know what? I need more stone, believe it or not. Um, so let's cook some stone real quick. 
Now, with this Enderman Essence, I can create Endstone, as I've previously shown you guys. So that's what I'm going to do right now, is we're going to make some Endstone. There we go. And each um, eight Enderman Essence will make a whole stack of Endstone when combined with a stack of stone. So that's why I need another stack. That should be good enough. And then this, put the rest away. There we go. So now I've got a few more stacks of endstone. Why am I making endstone, you might ask? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. Let me just make sure I don't forget about this. Let's remove this, put it back over here. There we go. Okay, so why am I making endstone, you may be asking. Well, as you can see, I've now made six whole stacks of endstone, and basically the eventual goal here is going to be to obtain draconium. Hopefully four draconium so that I can create dr draconium seeds and not have to repeatedly manufacture endstone in order to make this work. So as soon as I flip this lever, um, unstopping my hopper, my pulverizer here is going to kick into gear and turn all of that endstone into crushed endstone, and it's going to get rocketed right over here and go into this autonomous activator, and then it, the autonomous activator will place it in the oak sieve and blah, 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 etc., etc. I'm gonna get a bunch of things out of this. So, as you can see here, as soon as the oak sieve is totally emptied, now there's actually nothing that has a 100% chance from the crushed end stone, you see. So, while I'm doing this, um, it's actually a lot more occasional and a lot less yield than you would get from um, either crushed nether rack, which has a 100% chance of gold, plus a couple 10, 15% chances, um, and other things. So, like if we look, crushed end stone only has 5, 17, 10, 1, 17, 1, 1. So, I mean, there's less, there's, there's basically something like a 30 or 40% chance, basically, that you're gonna get anything at all from any given uh, crushed end stone. So yeah, pretty much a bummer there, but that's okay, because eventually I'll get what I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and open this reward bag. Nightshade, that's cool. I like that, and eventually I'm going to actually use it, so <laughs> I just haven't gotten started on Botania yet. There's so many things to do in this mod pack, and like, in order to keep myself focused, I like to try to you know, go in order, basically, of this quest book. Um, next up, it wants me to make a fluid transposer. That's something that I can definitely do. Although, I'm still not sure about this metallurgic infuser, so let's take a look at that first and see if that's easy to make. Metallurgic infuser. Uh, that's just osmium ingot, two redstone dust, four iron, and two furnaces. So, that shouldn't be hard at all. Let's go ahead and take, uh, let's see, let's get 16 of these. Okay, and um, osmium, where's osmium? I've got osmium blocks, there's an osmium ingot. And four iron, four iron, and two redstone, which I've already got the redstone on me. So yeah, let's go ahead and make this real quick and that'll unlock even more quests. And I know sometimes I do a lot of non-quest stuff in an episode and sometimes I do like, quest only episodes and I hope that's not getting on anyone's nerves or anything I hope you guys actually like that honestly um, but if you don't like I said give me some feedback in the in the comments section and I will totally take it into consideration so there we go I have achieved the thing uh, oh detection task I've got to make I've got I've got I've got to make four steel ingots okay um, so it wants me to use the metallurgic infuser to make these steel ingots. Uh, I'm not sure how easily I can do that. Is this, like, low, why is it, why are these so far apart? I'm a little confused about that. Pulverizer seems to be going well. Okay, whatever. I'm not, I'm not that concerned. In fact, I wanna take a couple of these and put them over here and over here to speed this up a little bit. Um, now, obviously, as you can see, I haven't obtained any draconium yet, but do I have draconium, broken draconium stuff in here, or no? No, I don't. I haven't even gotten close. I don't have a single draconium yet. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of disappointing, but hopefully, over time here, I'll definitely get some. Um, as you can see, I don't really have much of any of the nether things, like eczemite or any of that stuff. Um, 
which is kind of disappointing. I'd, I'd really like to get... Oh, hello. Broken tin, really. Uh, there's platinum, lead. I almost have a lead, silver, eczemite. I've got one eczemite. Now, of course, th what, how many did I have? Six stacks. Six stacks of broken end stone or crushed end stone or whatever. Um, that's not bad. And it's going to give me some things to work with here. Uh, let's go ahead and place this here. Okay, it's definitely powered. Good. So, how do I make steel out of the metall metallurgic infuser? Let's find out. Steel ingot. Let's see here. Um, like this, maybe? Is the metallic metallurgic infuser there? No, how about here? Metallurgic infuser. Hello? Metal furnace? No. I don't see it. Oh, come on. Metallurgy 4? No. Steel ingot tinker's construct? I just don't... I don't see... What is the recipe for this? I'm so confused right now. It won't... It hasn't told me this. Um, and it doesn't appear that it actually shows up on... It doesn't appear that it shows up on the, the list here of... Um, it must not be NEI compatible with the mods that are involved, I guess. I mean, that's the only thing I can figure. Uh, lava smelting, metal furnace, nuclear furnace, electric furnace. Yeah, I don't see it. I just don't see it. I mean, maybe I'm, maybe I'm missing something here, but I've got this feeling that it's not, not on this list. So, that's from Mechanism. So if I click the steel ingot from mechanism, I don't understand why it wouldn't show me this. Um, steel ore? Okay. I didn't know that there was steel ore. Uh, arc furnace, metal furnace, lava smelting, metal furnace, nuclear, electric. Yeah, so it doesn't seem to really mechanism steel dust. Okay. Me oh, metallurgic infuser. Enriched iron and coal. And enriched iron is made with iron ingot and coal. Charcoal, coal. Okay. So, I just take iron and turn it into enriched iron and then uh, use coal on it again. Okay, cool. Awesome. I'm so glad that I finally figured that out. Okay, so, let's see here. What I want is uh, four iron ingots and eight eight coal or charcoal so let's go with charcoal since it's cheaper and I'm saving coal up for a purpose that I will not currently state hello what just happened there okay interesting so the metallurgic infuser should do this wow that uses quite a lot of redstone flux holy smokes okay but that's making enriched iron and oh oh okay it breaks the coal charcoal down into carbon and then the carbon is used to enrich the iron and then let's see what was it the the enriched iron i put back through the, the infuser again and infuse it with more of the carbon and it becomes steel dust then i can just cook that in a furnace okay cool so while that's working let's go ahead and take a look at another quest here um, the fluid transposer. So we're going to make a fluid transposer, which uh, basically just takes takes a fluid input and puts it into a container, such as a bucket. So I'm going to need copper gears, reception coil, bucket, and glass. So we're going to make some copper gears. Two copper gears is going to require eight copper ingots. There we go. We'll go melt those down. Let's switch this around at the same time. There we go. Okay, melt these. Do that. Do this. Let's go back over and check on our infuser here. All right. There we go. So enriched iron is made. So let's go ahead and take that enriched iron and turn it into... Oh, okay. That consumes a lot more carbon. So maybe I should just grab... Uh, more carbon here from charcoal like this and see what that does let's put that in there okay cool I've got plenty of carbon so oh dear 
Yeah, it is It is staying bottomed out on Redstone Flux, which is interesting. Hello, what's this? Lead. Aw, come on. Do I have uh, Draconium Ore in here yet? I do not see anything. I don't see anything new at the bottom. Platinum, tin, silver, lead, eczemite. Nope. Still no draconium ore, but that's okay. We're not even, we're nowhere close to halfway through that yet. So we're closer to like a quarter of the way through that uh, whole process. So that shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, let's get rid of this lead here. And of course, let's check up on this infuser. Hello, infuser. Okay, that's still working. So let's head on over and make these copper gears. Okay, and what else am I gonna need for this? Uh, redstone reception coil and machine frame. Okay, so that should be easy. Let's make some copper gears. Then I'm gonna need a tin gear and iron ingots. So let's go ahead and just make that happen. Come on. Um, where am I? Uh, let's see, I need four iron ingots. Let's grab a block of iron. Also, you might notice I have blocks of diamond here. I took this um, totem tool from Z-Tones and I actually went and um, I, I, whenever I was mining in the mining world, and I found two deposits of diamonds with three diamond ore each, and obviously I turned those directly into blocks of diamond because you can do that. So, yeah. Um, oh, looks like I'm out of tin gears, so we're going to have to fix that. Where is my tin? I've got four tin here, and I must have more tin elsewhere, but that's okay. Four tin will do the trick for now. So let's put some tin in here, and while we're waiting on that, I'm going to continue grabbing the other things I need, which includes four glass, and I'm also going to need, what else? A bucket, machine frame, redstone reception coil, right, right. So let's grab a gold ingot here, come back over here, crafting, crafting, crafting. I hope you guys like crafting, because that's what I've been doing this entire episode, crafting and talking. Uh, but then again, my, that's half of what Minecraft is, right? Is crafting. So, I mean, mine, craft. I mean, I'm just on a craft kick today. <laughs> hey. Okay. So, with my tin gear created, I should be able to make this now. So, let's just proceed like so. Tin gear, glass, iron, iron. Isn't it ironic? Um, and then we'll take this and a bucket and a reception coil and two copper gears. And what was the other thing? Glass. More glass. Right. Grab a couple of pieces of glass. There we go. And we'll put the glass here and here. And there we go. We've made another fluid trans... Well, we've made our first fluid transposer. Um, I'm just going to slap that in the machine's chest for now. If you guys have any cool ideas on what I could actually use that for that's useful, let me know because I'm looking for so such information. Um, mutoid ore. Okay, that's interesting. Um, there's silver again, platinum. Okay, mutoid and eczemite are up there. Tin, silver, platinum, lead. Still no draconium. Not a single bit of draconium not any at all uh so yeah that's pretty disappointing honestly um and what i'm gonna do is actually take two more of these do this and this if i keep them spread out you know i've got three operating working on it at once rather than just one so it, it'll go faster so let's go ahead and clean up our mess over here put my ingot cast back and my gear cast in there and then let's go over here and check on this steel dust. I've now got four steel dust, and this is building its way back up in terms of RF, so that's good news. Um, although, did I, are these things both good? Yeah, those are both good on RF as well. So all I wanna do is just pop this steel dust in my Zavicchio furnace here, make some steel ingots, and there's another quest complete. Ta-da! So let's pick a reward bag and then come over here and pick a reward bag. There we go. And infinite. These are slightly buggy. Can use them fine. Just click them without a modded item in your hand. Tesseract. Oh, okay. It wants me to make a tesseract. That's, um, oh, that's, that's a task, isn't it? 
uh, that's not the easiest thing in the world. So, uh, let's see here. Um, side config upgrades. Okay. Can I put these in there? Are these upgrades? I thought those were upgrades. No? Support. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So, these are the things that I need to use to make the upgrades. What is this? Factory machine block. Oh, okay. Um, so, let's see here. Mechanism, shaped, shaped crafting, yeah, so let's see. Oh, there's the upgrades. Okay, energy upgrade, speed upgrade. What's that? Increases energy efficiency and capacity. Okay, that's cool. I might actually want that. Um, so, yeah, what's this? Gold dust. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, for now, I'm just going to set that aside. We'll take care of those things later. What are these for? Okay. Can I use these for upgrades as well? Basic factory installer. No, doesn't look like it. But it does look like it's needed for several different machines. Um, oh, these all say factory on them. Uh, electric chest. It's electric. What? Um, L shift and M for a description. Portable 54 slot chest that uses energy to lock itself from others by means of password protection. That's kind of neat, I guess. All right, so let's take another look here. I don't think I'm going to be able to make a test react on today's episode. That seems um, that seems a little bit uh, difficult. So I'm going to need a test react, bronze, silver, test react frame full, which I need to fill with resonant ender. Um, which, of course, I need to use a fluid transposer, and I need to uh, use the resonant ender that's melted down in the magma crucible to make resonant ender. I need to melt down ender pearls, which I don't have nearly enough of. So, yeah, that seems um, problematic, to put it to put it simply. I just don't have I just don't have the materials to do that yet, but I will, and it'll get done eventually. So let's open up some reward bags. Ah, redstone block, factory block. Neat. How neat. Just awesome. Okay. And another one. An iron wand. What is that? Mode horizontal, max nine blocks. Builder's reward. Wait, wait, wait. Is that like the builder's wand, except made of iron? From better builder's wands. Oh, neat. Okay, well, that's interesting, I guess. So, like, if I pull out some cobblestone, does it... No, it doesn't seem... I don't know. I don't get it. Um, but that's okay. Let's get rid of this factory block and redstone block. I'll put this iron wand in here. Because I'm not really sure. I don't know how to use that, honestly. Um, I can put my steel in there. And, yeah, okay. So, that's that's uh, about all the quest progression we're going to manage to cram in today. Um enrichment chamber okay uh, and what's this energized smelter crusher basic universal cable okay so I mean we're gonna keep expanding this direction in quests over over you know future episodes but for today that's it so we're gonna take some chance cubes now and the chance cube scanner and tier 2 chance pendant and we're gonna head to the mining dimension where it's much safer and we're gonna break some chance cubes. So, cause I, I, I just love ending videos with breaking some chance cubes. Why? I don't really know. But to me, it's just, it's just too much fun to not do it. Uh, that one, obviously, I don't wanna do. So let's uh, drop a chance cube here. No, I don't wanna do that one. It seems dangerous. Negative 38, negative 13. Okay, no seems dangerous. That seems very dangerous. Okay, that one, oh, not, not dangerous at all. Eight bookshelves. Okay, cool. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's go with that then. Negative 100. Wow, okay. Don't think I'm going to do that one. That one's 100. Let's do that one. Ah, more animal eggs and more fence. Yay. Okay, cool. Well, is that going to be it for today? That one's negative 9, negative 13, negative 71. Should I break this negative 9? I'm considering it, but I'm not really sure if I should. Last time I broke something that was just barely positive, I died as a result. So I don't know if I really want to do that. Um, although, one thing I could do is, uh, where are these? 
what are they called? Long fall boots? Yes, okay. So two diamonds, obsidian, iron, and just two of those. So four diamonds, two obsidian, 12 iron. I'm going to make these long fall boots just in case um, I get rocketed into the air again. So uh, let's take some obsidian essence here and let's see uses. Okay, so we're going to make some obsidian. Since I've been growing it for a while now, I might as well use it every once in a while. Um, let's see here. I'm going to need diamonds, which I've got those. I've got four diamonds, that's for sure. I've got plenty of diamonds, actually. Uh, and iron. Lots of iron. Twelve. Twelve irons. So let's make twelve irons. Uh, okay, actually, I just need one. Okay, there we go. Boom. All right. So we're going to make these. Uh, it's been a long time coming, but it'll this will definitely save me some heartache in the future, uh, especially with regards to doing chance cubes. Not sure what other negative thing might happen here, but I, I'm not that worried about it. So where where did all my irons go? There we go. Okay, boom. Two long fall boot makes a pair of long fall boots, and I can just put those on, and now I can fall from any distance and survive. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, here we go. We are going to go back into the danger zone. I'm, I'm actually going to leave my pickaxe here, um, just in case. I'm going to leave my Tartarite Mega Pick here, which is full durability again. Yay! And I'm just going to bring, like, a, a regular pickaxe with me just in case, but I probably won't use... Actually, no, what? I don't need that. Um, so, you know, if I get that obsidian block thing, I can come back, grab my pickaxe, and we can, you know, fix that problem. Okay? All right. So, Chance Cube Scanner. Negative four on this Chance Cube. Let's, let's give it a shot. Let's do it. Cookies? No! Hey, come back! Come back! Kill you! Yes! Yeah! There's one fifteenth of an extra life. Alright. Uh, this one is negative nine. Okay. Cool. I got free chance cubes! Yay! Okay. Let's use these chance cubes and let's hope that they ha they contain something good. There we go. A few chance cubes. That one's thirteen... That one's a hundred. Definitely doing that one. Oh, hello, Golden Notch Apple. That one's 99. We're doing that one too. Hello! That's a super sword. Yay! Uh, it's actually not as good as my Tartarite sword. Not nearly. Not even close. So, um, it's got a durability of negative 1,558 out of one. Uh, which... I'm thinking, you know, it's weird that the the during one of the recent updates, the mod pack creator actually did something weird with the mod pack, changed the durability of all like vanilla tools and weapons to be max durability of one, which I think is weird. G O G the naughty librarian, hello, are you an O G? Huh? Oh, he'll sell me bottles of enchanting. Oh, you know what? You're coming with me, dude. Hold on. Let's see here. Um, I'm going to need my Jailer Safari net. Hold on. Or maybe I'll bring a couple with me just in case. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, there we go. So let's go on back now. Uh, and we're going to capture this villager, OG, the naughty librarian. Hello, OG. He's the original gangsta, don't you know? Um... Oh, gee, the naughty librarian. Hello, Jailer Safari Net. You've been jailed. Okay, <laughs> cool. That was interesting. I'm glad I did that one. That one's negative 71. I'm not even going to touch it. This one's negative 13, though. Whoa! The chance of this cube is destruction, probably. Um, guys, uh, does anyone know what? 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 Does anyone know what the giant chance cube does and if I should use it? Uh, destruction, probably? I don't, you know, I'm I'm really not, I'm not doing that. No. I might have to look up, I might, I mean, I'm going to look up what it does. But, oh my gosh, that sounds terrible. I'm really not, I'm really not interested in that. Nope. 
Nope, nope, nope. That gets a big fat nope from me. Okay, thanks so much for watching today, guys. I think this video went on way longer than it should have. I'm not really sure, though. Sometimes I just lose track. Um, but thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to follow me on the Facebooks and the Twitters. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Because if you made it all the way to the end of this video, then you're going to make it all the way to the end of the rest of the videos. Because they're all the same, really. Uh, of course, in different ways. But they're, they're pretty much, I mean, it's me. <laughs> so, yeah. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe. Maybe share it with your friends. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Because I'm trying to build, build those places as places that I can send you guys a message without having to make a video. So, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.